Hey friends, welcome. Welcome back. Thanks for stopping in. So today I wanted to show you this. So I got these buttons. They're from Color Resin Pour. I picked them up at um, Michael's. Unfortunately, they've only had a 20% off coupon since the whole coronavirus. I can't wait for them to get another 40 or 50% off, but the 20% has at least been on all of your items. So I got a couple items, but I saw this and I thought it would be kind of interesting. And maybe if you do a lot of sewing, you might enjoy using this. So this mold is for making your own buttons. It was $5.99 and then of course I used the 20% off. So about $4.80. And it's got all these different size of buttons in the molds. And so this is cool because it also, they're shallow. So I feel like you could use this with both your UV resin as well as your epoxy. So you could do it either way. And I just think that would be really kind of cool, right? So what if like you're sewing and suddenly, oh, I need a button of such and such color and I can't find one, let me make it. So I thought that was really cool. So we are going to just make some different color buttons and see how it works out. All right, I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, friends, so here's my mold and my epoxy. So this epoxy, I use Pro Marine. It's a two-part epoxy, part A and part B. You do a mixing of equal parts. I know on fast mode, it looks like I'm stirring it quite fast, but actually you want to stir it very slowly. And I like to use a bigger spoon or spatula to stir it because I want the least amount of aeration possible. I don't want any bubbles in it. And then afterwards, I do sit it in a warm bath for four minutes. And this helps with decreasing the bubbles. However, it also decreases your work time. So just know that. I still have about a 20 to 30 minute work time with this. However, if I'm not using the entire thing, I do find that I need to stir it in between. So the green board that you see sitting there that's from the Dollar Tree and it is a craft cutting board. Now I like to use these. These are fantastic. I actually just went and picked up five more because they're very thick and I feel like it really lets me keep my molds on a nice hard flat surface and they're pretty easy to get epoxy off of if it spills over. All right, so for my buttons, I'm just mixing different colors of epoxy in. And in some of them, I added also some glitter, just doing different things because I want to see how these molds turn out. And then I'm also going to do one that is completely clear just to see how a clear button would turn out because sometimes that might be what you want. I feel like this mold would also be really good if you're someone who does clay, like clay jewelry and different things like that. I feel like you could make some really cool clay buttons with these, except well, I guess you take it out before you put it in the oven anyways, because I was thinking the mold in the oven, you couldn't do that. And I've never used clay before, but I would think any mold couldn't go in there, so you would take it out. So anyways, I'm going to just continue to mix up some different colors. I'm going to fill these up. And then usually for my molds, after about 12 hours, I'll go ahead and take them out just because if there's anything on the edge while it's soft, it's really easy to cut off the edges with scissors and 
when it's hard, you can only file it. So, but for these ones, because I don't really feel like there's going to be anything on the edges, I'm just going to let them sit overnight and then I'll take them up and we'll pop them out, see how they look. And then of course, I'll let them sit another 24 to 48 hours before I do anything with them. So, all right, so I'm going to just let this sit and then I will see you when they're ready to come out. All right, friends, I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, and I am sitting on my back porch doing this work because that's where I'm doing my epoxy these days. It is quite windy out, so I hope that it's not too noticeable or disturbing. And if you can hear it, I apologize. All right, see you soon. Bye. Hey, friends, I'm back. All right, so we have our buttons. They have been in the mold for... I want to say about 20 hours. So let's see how they come out. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. That is a perfect button. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. So if you need a button, one has just a little teeny spot right there no big deal so see when I take I didn't take these out earlier because of work like I normally do but if you take it out earlier you can cut any little edge off but that's easy just 1200 grit sandpaper and da 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 like that it's good all right that is super cool I'm gonna just make sure all my holes are through. Yep. All right. There's another one, pink one. Very cool. That is so cool. <clears throat> Let's see how these little ones, oh, look at that. Even the little ones turned out good. Look how nice and sparkly that is. That is very cool. That um, yellow alcohol ink it's still a little wet, so I have some on my hands. It's not a big deal. It'll dry, or you can just, when you run it underwater, because I always wash all of my epoxy once it's cured, and you, once you put it underwater, anything like that will come off. Look at that perfect little button. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. So this style is more of like a round style. So this one, when I was cleaning around the edges, I thought that I had touched into it and obviously I did. So that one has a little chunk out of it. Very cool. And let's try our clear one. Perfect clear little button. Can you see? All right, yeah, so these came out super cool. How exciting, I love these. And if you are somebody that does like sewing projects and stuff, you can totally make buttons to match your projects however you would like them to. This is really cool. I'm glad that I got this one. I really like it. All right, so listen, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. 
And if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. I'll see you later, friends. Bye.